welcome back in this video we will discuss about marking by using the hmi in earlier video we have discussed the marking and remarking by using the plc function today we will using the marking function in plc here i have declared a another structure that is called max underscore hmi in that structure we have taken two variable two variable that one is the compressor one outlet pressure that is in real compressor two outlet pressure that also in real but here you can see that in max function we have three parameter one is the index two is the input k also is the index also is input but this is different it as, as a selector and another is the output so here we have only this one uh, compressor one and two this is a pressure and this is input only but we need two other input one is index another is output max out and that index and output max output will uh, take a tag from the asmi okay from here in skin 2 will take a io field will make a maxing in io field that to our two tag compressor one pressure and two pressure will visualize in only one io field by using the hmi function now go to the hmi tag here uh, we will take a tag here uh, we will take a tag as max index and that is not from the hmi this is a hmi internal not from the plc connection so here our connection type is internal tag okay and data type is integer our max index is integer and another is max output here we will write as a max hmi max out okay and that is in real okay now go to that max hmi max out parameter just select that hmi you can go to that properties or just right click on the tag and go to properties here it is not showing actually it is showing here you, you have just drag and drop to drop like this one just drag and select and shift here in that hmi max here you can see hmi max out the, in that tag some properties one is general properties in that general properties you can see the name display name plc name connection like this and here you can see the setting if you take the tag from the plc then you can see the cyclic operation that you in which interval you want to update your data from the plc to hmi so you can select from here as second millisecond or minute hour in range here you can give a range of your input here is the linear scaling we already talk about that range also we have talk about that today we will discuss about the multiplexing so just select multiplexing and here you can see a here you can see a field that you can select as a tick so from the tick you can see the index from here you can select the index tag and that tag is our is my internal tag okay now this is a max index tag okay now 
here you can give a index value as before we have used the max index in the plc function that that index value can be 0 1 2 so here we have also the max index value that okay that you can give a 0 1 like this so for the index value 0 which compressor pressure we want to display in the IO field so when the index value is 0 we want to display the index uh, we want to display the pressure from the compressor 1 so from this program block max d max ASMI compressor outlet so when the index value is 0 we want to display the compressor 1 outlet pressure and when the index value is 1 that time we want to display the compressor 2 outlet pressure so this is our tag ASMI max out that will be our IO field tag so here go to ASMI skin true here in properties in that process tag we will give the ASMI tag that one is compressor sorry that one is max out max out ASMI max out okay and here is our output okay now that pressure it can be within that range so save and now so how we can select the index value that 0 or 1 so here we can take two two button but you can also take a IO field from that IO field you can change the index value but here we will take a button that will uh, compressor COMP compressor 1 and compressor 2 so when you click that compressor 1 then index value will be 0 when you select the compressor 2 index value will be 1 so here in event just click that compressor 1 button go to properties and here in event click select the click press anyone so here you just write set tag okay set tag now and here is our tag max index this is our tag and value will be zero when we press the click on that button the value will be zero when the when you press or click on that button the value should be 1 so in click function I will set tag max index as a 1 here when button compressor 2 is pressed that time the value 1 is select ok now this is the all the maxing function in HMI now we will simulate so in skin 2 this is a compressor outlet pressure IO field in only one IO field we will visualize two input ok now this is showing hashes because still we didn't download the PLC program because we need the max d max tag to monitor so we have to download the program in PLC so I am running the simulation ok now just monitor here the value is now 0 
here in see this is now there is no okay now okay now there is no hash mark now i will give you some value that compressor one outlet pressure is 5.6 compressor two outlet pressure 6.0 now see the sorry value is 5.6 because by default the index value is zero or you when you click the compressor one that all that time also index value is zero so compressor one value is now showing if you select the compressor two if you select the compressor two now see the value is now six so in one io field we can view two two value and that is by the multiplexing function okay Thank you.